Although today we live in a fast-paced society, there is still one thing that we all must do. Whether it be at the store, the bank, or even while driving. Wait. These waiting lines, or queuing systems, as they are known in the field of operations management, can greatly influence the experience that a customer has. We will be exploring the use of these different systems in the consumer environment and the pros and cons associated with each. The two systems that consumers are most familiar with and that we will be discussing today are the basic single server system and the multi-server exponential service time model. The different uses of these systems can greatly affect a consumer's experience and can even cause or decrease queuing problems such as balking, reneging, and jockeying. Balking occurs by the refusal of an arriving customer to join the queue and wait for the service. Reneging is a situation when a customer initially joins the queue but leaves before receiving service. Jockeying is a situation where a customer leaves one queue to join another in the expectation that he or she will get served more quickly. Now let's take a look at our first queuing model, the basic single server system. This is the system that consumers are most familiar with as this is the way that most retail stores checkouts are designed. In this system, there is only one server and only one queue. Customers are served in the order that they arrive at the queue on a first come, first serve basis. Many larger retailers, such as Walmart or Target, operate this type of system. Only they use numerous single server queuing systems. The use of numerous systems can help to cut down on balking and reneging. This is due to the reduced wait time brought about by the use of the multiple systems. However, this type of system can lead to jockeying as customers switch between queues in hopes of being served more quickly. The second system that we will be discussing is the multi-server exponential service time model. This system is very similar to the first except for one major difference. It utilizes multiple servers within the same queue. Customers wait in a single line. Once they reach the front of the line, the customer proceeds to the next available server. This is the way that most bank lobbies are set up and even some retail stores such as Best Buy and Borders Books have begun to utilize this system. This system eliminates jockeying by only giving consumers one line to choose. However, it could increase balking and reneging as consumers perceive that the wait will be longer due to the use of only one line. As we have seen from these examples, the way that a customer queuing system is designed can greatly affect a consumer's experience. As we go on about our busy lives, we will eventually have to stop and wait. However, now we will be able to better understand how these waiting lines are formed and the effects they have on our consumer behavior.